Hey, good morning. This is Dr. Uh, Goldberg uh, for a quick update on the treatment of cellulitis. I see a lot of confusion on the treatment of cellulitis. Let's talk about in the hospital, first of all. Um, cellulitis is going to be basically staph aureus, either MRSA or MSSA or beta strep. Positive blood cultures are going to help us. If it's obviously, if it's a positive MRSA, uh, then we're going to go with vancomycin. If the MIC is, is two or less, less than two, it's gr two or greater, then we're going to have to consider septaroline uh, or Zyvox. Those are our, would be our main treatments. If we've got a strep infection, uh, we certainly can use ANSEP or a semi-synthetic penicillin such as Napsillin. Uh, if we have an MSSA infection, and of course, we can go with nafcillin or uh, ANCEP as well. Sometimes we're not sure initially if they have a history of MRSA coverage or carriage in the past or a MRSA infection, then you should empirically cover MRSA. Uh, if they have no history of MRSA, there is no abscess formation associated with the cellulitis, and it looks streptococcal, for example. It's more a little more cherry red. It's got some blistering then you should feel safe going with ANSEF. Uh, in the outpatient setting when you've got an acute cellulitis, <clears throat> I feel comfortable with using cefadroxyl uh, or cephalexin. I prefer cefadroxyl because of a longer half-life and probably a little better penetration into the soft tissue. Uh, if you're not sure and you want to cover MRSA, then you can consider adding trimethoprim sulfa or doxycycline with rifampin. Uh, to the cephalosporin, though, um, you know, you can stay with the cephalosporin from a standpoint of if they don't have any history of, of MRSA infection, uh, that type of thing. can be, you know, difficult to treat, uh, but these are my initial guidelines. Thanks, uh, Dr. Tobin.